hello hello everyone this is Carolise. welcome to my channel welcome to my videos and today we're going to talk about jira so we're talking today about being able to add story points to our uh, backlog items so this could be your user stories could be bugs if you're pointing bugs it could be your tasks so you know, whatever your product backlog item is, you can add story points to it in Jira. So here you're looking at my um, backlog and this is from a previous video and these are the backlog items. So if I wanted to add a story point to this, then I'd show how you do that in a minute. So typically when you're doing your sprint planning, and let me jump over to this in a bigger view open a new window so yeah open this in a new window so we can see well here is the user story i wrote for one of those uh, um, features that we were adding in that video i was trying to create a um, wealth messenger app so please check out that video i'll put the link right here so that you can see where this came from so let's say that you're looking at this story and your team has asked all the questions. They have come up with new acceptance criteria. You documented that. You've had all the conversation that should go around um, your user story in this planning meeting. And now the team feels like they understand enough and they want to story point to this. So I'm not sure how you guys are estimating. It could be story points. It could be time. It could be um, something else. But typically, if you're using story points, it's, you know, Jira already have that kind of embedded. So that's why most teams go with story points. And also because it handles complexity much better, especially if you're using the Fibonacci series, etc. So let's say your team does the story pointing and they can do this either if they're using like an innovation game, like um, planning poker, or you find some other method that works. But most teams do planning poker, and I have a separate video on how that works, where they all kind of um, come up with the, the story points. And if there's a discrepancy, then you can ask the team members to clarify, and then they talk about it some more. And it really helps them to think about it very much, and then they come up with a better estimate because they have thought and talked over it and, you know, really sank deep into what they need to do to accomplish it so let's say they have that discussion and they say okay the story point we all agree on is five all right so they choose five to be their story points there's a field right here in jira this is a part of the standard fields i think and so you just put five in there and then you got the the tick it assigns five right that's it now these are other fields that you may or may not have like time tracking epic link it also depends if you're using next gen for jira that's a different um almost like a version of jira i'm using the classic version so you know uh, you know these software tools always improve and change things over time so i'm using classic so even in the next gen you'll have a field called story points you add the story points and that is how you add story points very easy right now let's go back to the um, backlog view and see what it looks like in the backlog. There's a backlog here. So the story point is here. In the next gen Jira project, it might be over here. So it depends. But now you have your five story points. So let's say I needed to create a sprint. So in this case, I'm still in the backlog, which typically people would create a sprint first. So let's go create a sprint. I have a separate video as to how to create a sprint, okay? So Sprint 1, it, it gives you automatic name, but you can always go in here and edit it. So you click on this, you go to Edit Sprint. And let's say I want to call my Sprint. Um, people name their Sprints all kinds of things, that they name it after teams, all kinds of stuff. I'm, gonna, I'm in Georgia, so I'm going to say Georgia Bulldogs. You know, that's my Sprint. I'm, I'm, this is a Georgia Bulldog Sprint. <laughs> It doesn't matter the name, guys. You just need something that's a holding place for that you refer to um, that has the work you're going to be doing. So let's make it a two-week sprint. Let's start it. We are in December. So if it starts now, it automatically sets the end date. And you can put your sprint goal here. Maybe the sprint goal is to um, 
create the first. So at the end of the sprint, I want to be able to accomplish ability to send a new message to a client. Right? Maybe that's all that you want to get done in the sprint. Right? So we have our Georgia Bulldog Sprint, and I'm going to pull this story from the backlog into the sprint. And let's say there's a couple other stories I want to pull into the sprint. Let's do three of these. Actually, let's, let's pull a, a few more just for demonstration purposes. I don't think all of these have user stories. They might just be shell stories. So just ignore if you see it empty over here. That's because I haven't written all the stories yet, guys. But let's say you're, this is your sprint, right? And as you can see, it has the sprint goal right below it. It counts a number of issues. And so now we have five story points. Let's say that the team discussed the other ones. This is authenticate that has some detail. The team look at the detail. They're fine with it. They do planning poker. And they all agree that the story point for this is eight, right? So it's an eight point story. And then this one, let's just say for argument's sake that imagine it had some details, right? And this one is a two, it's really easy to do. Um, and then let's say this one, viewing the user profile. Um, I'll change this from view to create. So that's more work there. Let's say that this story point is five. And then let's say ability to be notified. This story point is um, eight because you got to build a, maybe a listener or whatever. And then the search, it's pretty simple. They give it a three. Okay. And that's your sprint. So your sprint now has all these story points that the team came up with from a discussion. And so this is what you have in your sprint. So if you notice, even though I have them in a sprint, the sprint isn't started yet. I haven't started the sprint yet. So I'm going to go click on start sprint and start. Right now, when I start the sprint in Jira, it opens it up in this, um, the board view. So I have three statuses to do in progress and done. Let's say I say, let's say during the course of the sprint, you know, the developers pick, they typically pick from the top of the sprint. But sometimes you may have something blocking the top. They can't start with this one, so they pick something else. But they normally work in the order that the product owner sets. So let's put two things under in progress. Let's put one thing under done. Um, I think it just disappeared, did it? Huh. If I move this to done, if I have story points, yep, it stays in done. Okay, good. Just didn't drag it well. <laughs> All right, so this is my board, but I don't want to do the board view. I want to go back to my backlog view. So as you can see in my sprint, I have these six issues. I have 13 issues that's in my backlog. But if you notice, what Jira does, it shows you all of the points in the different statuses. It's very cool because I didn't realize that I just dragged 13 points over to in progress and there's 13 not yet started and five uh, done. So the green represents their done statuses. So there's five story points done. There is 13 story points in blue. The blue represents your in progress. And then there is 13 story points in, uh, in to do. So if I add these all up, that tells me the total story points of the sprint. So now I have 13 and 13, 26 and 5, 31. So I have 31 story points in all. So that's how you know how your sprint is. The story points is very great. So you can look at this at a glance and see uh, how big a story is, how much effort it's going to take, how much complexity. And that helps the product owner to know where to prioritize sometimes. Um, and it also helps you to see how fast you have been able to finish. So you could see that you're, you know, how much is left to do at a glance and how much have not even been started yet at a glance. So that is how you add story points, guys. It's just so easy. There's a field, you click, you know, click in the field, put the story point, and that really drives a lot of the reporting that happens behind the scenes and helps you to manage your team better and know exactly um, how much of the work you're getting done based on what you said you would do. All right, that's all I have for you right now. Please check out my website, carolise.com. 
for much more. These are the things that will be very helpful for you to know how to do the job day to day. Okay. So hope this was helpful. See y'all next time. Take care. Bye.